Welcome to the Ashley After Show. We're back. Happy Monday. This is so cool. What a great way to start. We were on vacation last week. What a great way to, to come back. Joined by UFC's Chris Lieben. I mean, wow. Coming from someone who, who, who has been a fan of yours since Ultimate Fighter. I mean, and your career and how far you've come and your journey, like, in your personal life and your professional life is really something else. And now you're living in San Diego. I am. What yeah. the F, bro? <laughs> what the F? And your hair's normal color. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> girl's brown. Crazy. Wow. <laughs> so we have a lot to talk about. I'm not even sure where to start, but I guess we can start with what are you doing in San Diego? What's the latest? Well, uh, you know, uh, wife got into law school out here. <laughs> we had a... We had a beautiful wife is behind the camera. Oh, okay. how to show you? <laughs> she was like, I don't want to be on camera. <laughs> <laughs> we had a couple different choices. You know, for a second, I thought we were going to end up in Arizona. Thank God. So, you know, we're... San Diego's way better. <laughs> yeah. She's, she's kind of like my 401k. <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, obviously with my job, can't do it forever. Right. Um, definitely got a few more good years in me, though. Okay. And, and, uh, how old are you? I We're am the same age, I feel like. 32. 32, okay, because I'm 30, 29. Yeah. 32, so I still got to... You're old. How old am I? <laughs> but I'm actually, I'm, I'm, I'm practicing and performing better than I ever have. And, I believe it. And this this move to San Diego is really symbiotic for both of us because uh, just there's a lot of awesome guys, a lot of training out here. Affliction. Yes, a, Alliance or, I'm Gym. I'm sorry, Alliance. What am I saying, Affliction? <laughs> Alliance Gym with Brandon would be the Vera. shirts. Yeah. Alliance would be the gym. Um, yeah, Both Alliance great in Chula Vista um, with Dominic Cruz and Brandon Vera and Phil Davis. Yes, yeah, they, they, I mean, every day, I've been there for about a week now, so. You You've know, been I'm, at Alliance. I've been, I've been, I've been training with the guys there. Sweet. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I think they're starting to like me, okay. so, you know, I, I hope everything works out with them because every day when I show up to that gym, it is like. A meat grinder. I heard um, it's gnarly there. It, they don't it, mess around. It is. I mean, yeah. if you show up to practice, you're going to be in shape and you're going to be good when yes. it comes fight time. Which, you know, I love Hawaii. Coming from Hawaii, uh, I, I, I love Hawaii, obviously. Who doesn't love the beach? Who right. love to surf? You know, all that stuff. But, you know, when the surf's up, the gym is empty. You know, it's just everybody's, a, you know, it's a little bit hard to get the training partners oh. and... And these guys at Alliance, you know, they they have a real great work ethic, and they're 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 always in there. You know, I can go in any day of the week, and there's good solid guys to train with. Wow! And I heard that they, you know, they they say don't bring anything from your personal life in. So don't bring your girl in to watch you work out. Okay. They said they that it, they're very focused there, right? Right. And, and they make you stay very humble too. I've heard, which is that's. <laughs> Every, every, you know that's and that's one of the things which is great for me. You know, being I, I've been around for a while. You know, um, at my at my old place, I, I was I was being trying to be the coach and trying to train and prepare for the fights. You know, mm. here now at Alliance, I'm just the dumb fighter. So it, it's I just put my nose down and I do my work. Wow, you know? and, that's great. And and I think it's gonna uh, it's gonna reflect come uh, come come fight night. So I have two questions for you before we wrap this up, and we're going to interview um, you on the air, too, so make sure to listen to the podcast. Um, what's changed about Chris Lieben? Because obviously in the beginning of your, of your career, when you had the crazy red hair and you were a fireball, you know, you were, you you know, <laughs> people didn't know what they were going to expect out of Chris Lieben when he got in the ring um, or the cage. What's changed? Uh, you know, it's it's been a long road. I, I don't I don't know that I'm the crazy Chris Lieben anymore. Maybe just si semi crazy now. Yeah. Um. You know, pretty mellow. You know, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going out fighting and then going out raging and, and, and partying and, and 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 speeding in my car and doing all these things. You know, I'm not burning the candle from both ends anymore. Wow. Really. You know, I'm settled down. I'm married. Wife's in school. You know. I, I hate to admit it, guy, you know, Saturday night comes around, 10 o'clock, I'm on the couch watching a movie, getting ready to go to bed. Yeah. Uh, you know, just really um, been focusing on just doing normal people stuff, you know, so wow. not, not not wowing out all the time, so. Um, you kind of just grew up, sounds like. You, you know, slowly. Yeah. You know, I think we get, we, you know, they say we get older, we get wiser. Right. I think I just got a little bit, a little bit lazier. I got tired of getting in trouble, tired, uh. of, tired <laughs> of paying lawyers, and tired of trying to burn off all the calories I put on the night before, 
you know, so so now I'm just kind of just keeping it a little smoother, a little that's more good. streamlined. Yeah, no, that's really good, and I can tell. I can tell you're happy. It seems like. <laughs> um, and then what? What do we? What can we expect moving forward from Chris Lieben? Uh, who am I fighting, honey? <laughs> uh, Andrew Craig. Andrew Craig. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> tell, you know, everybody nowadays in the UFC is, is, is tough. Absolutely. Um, um, so I'm fighting Andrew Craig. Do we know we, when? Do we have a date? Uh, July 6th. Okay, July great. 6th. So we're Cannot just, wait for that. just getting ready to, uh, great. just getting ready to really start gearing up my training camp. Yes. Um, and the nice thing about this kid is he fancies himself a kickboxer. Mm. So I'm hoping he'll stand up and bang with me, you know. Nice. Um, you know, I, I get a lot of guys that want to run backwards, jab, and then maybe score a takedown. Um, this guy's talking like he's going to get in there and swing with me. Uh, we know what happens when guys try that. So you can get gnarly. You can get gnarly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's something that I don't think I'll be trying anytime soon. <laughs> thank you so much for coming well, on, Chris. It's such you. a pleasure to thank meet you. Thank you for having me. Welcome to San Diego and your beautiful wife as well. Welcome to San Diego. And um, I really look forward to watching you fight July 6th. July 6th. Andrew Craig. Andrew Craig. Yes. <laughs> All right. Have a great day, my loves. We'll catch up with you tomorrow. Mwah. Right on.